Let's ultrasound. On today's edition, retroglandular versus retropectoral implants on ultrasound. Here are some ultrasound images of a retroglandular implant placement. This is where the implant is placed posterior to the glandular tissue layer, but anterior to the pectoralis muscle. With this type of placement, it can be really hard to see the fibrous capsule in the anterior section of implant because it blends in with the echogenic fibrous tissue. For a retroglandular implant, you go to the side of the implant and the pectoralis muscle, which is strong striated in appearance is going to dive down under the implant and you're going to visualize in the anterior portion of the implant the triple or the double line sign of the fibrous capsule and the implant shell immediately posterior to the glandular tissue layer although it's really tricky to see that fibrous capsule layer so really pay attention to your implant shell wall when it's a retroglandular implant placement because the implant shell is going to be one of your most recognizable structures. Here are some ultrasound images of a retropectoral implant placement. And this is where the implant is placed below the pectoralis muscle. You'll note that the pectoralis muscle drapes up over the top of the implant. So you're gonna be able to visualize your glandular tissue layer and then your pectoralis muscle striated layer and then your triple or your double line sign of the fibrous capsule and the implant shell wall. With a retro pectoral implant placement, it's a lot easier to visualize the fibrous capsule against the more hypoechoic striated pectoralis muscle. To visualize a retro pectoral placement, go to the side of the implant and the pectoralis muscle is going to drape up over the implant. And then you'll notice your triple or double line sign of the implant immediately posterior to the pectoralis muscle in the anterior portion of the implant.